Mary Lou Dantzler, and I have been doing iPhonography since October 2010. I am, it's my passion. I love showing people what's possible, and I plan on doing that from now on in these Google Hangouts. So, we have Lola with us today. Lola, could you introduce Hello. yourself? Yes, this is, I'm Lola Clark from Southern California, and I'm just finishing up the uh, iPhoneography 101 course, which has been really fantastic. So thank you, Terry Lou, and looking forward to learning so much more. Mm, thank you, Lola. All right, Nancy. Uh, Nancy Bardos, Ashland, Oregon. I took um, Terry Lou's course about a month ago, the first one, and uh, looking forward to the next one, which starts tomorrow, I think. Yes, it does. And uh, it's just a big thrill. So, thank you. No, thank you, Nancy. Nancy Thornton, your turn. Nancy Thornton, Downingtown, Pennsylvania, here on the East Coast. And I took your course quite a while ago and haven't been practicing, and I have to get back doing this. So I'm looking forward to this. Got Good. Me. I saw that you've also been inspired by Karen Messick's work, too. She's a wonderful iPhoneographer. Well, she's a little closer than you were. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Great. All right, Victoria. Uh, Victoria Porter, Bethesda, Maryland. I've been doing iPhone photography since late September of last year, 2011, and it's become a passion. And I really appreciate Terry Lou as an instructor. I've learned so much, and I expect I will keep right on learning. Oh, great. Well, it looks like we've got three viewers, so that's fun to see. I um, have no idea who they are, but this is, like I said, new to me, so we'll see. I don't know if I'll ever know. Um, all right, so what I decided I'm going to do today is give a demonstration of one of the images that I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, which will be sharing my iPad, and I'm going to be sure that it's mirroring okay first here. Okay. It shows here that it's mirroring just fine, so I'm going to make it live for you guys here. All right. All right. Sorry, second again. I'm There we go. Got to get my screen share again. All right. Does everybody see my iPad? Yes. Yes. Great. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I um, posted a plumeria the other day, and I'm going to do show you how I came up with that workflow. So I'm going to first of all bring the plumeria into FX Photo Studio, and I see we're running, there we go. We're running it a little slow here, so bear with me and this internet. So I'm going to put this um, yellow glow onto it, and right now as you can see, well, there we go. Um, when I click on my favorites, It'll bring up just the starred favorites that I have, so it'll make it easier to me for me to be able to find the ones that I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the yellow glow, and I'm going to wait for that to pop in for you guys. Well, I see that a slow internet connection is going to affect this quite a bit here. Let's see. Um, Terry Lou, you've got to ask everyone to mute their mics, please. Okay, could everybody mute your mic so that it keeps the screen share up? I would appreciate it. If you go ahead and talk to me if you don't know how, and I'll, I'll tell you how. It'll be in the upper right hand corner. There's a mic, and it'll say on or off. If you make it click to off, then it'll keep the screen up for me. And I see that my screen isn't popping in yet, which is very disappointing here. I'm going to see if I can. Well, this is not a good start. I was doing, I practiced this earlier today and didn't have any problem doing a demonstration. 
Well, we got a yellow glow thing at the bottom here, but it's not showing the yellow glow yet. There we go. Well, I might have to do this. Okay, so as you saw originally, it was black and white. And I want to add just the yellow glow to the center of this. It was originally a hipstamatic black and white image. But in this way, I can add yellow to the center of the image. And I'm going to then bring down the brightness and the glow amount to something that makes a little more sense to me and keeps the detail in the flower enough for me. So after I decide that I'm going to apply it, and we come up with these great amazing facts. And again, this is FX Photo Studio Yellow Glow. And then I'm able to share with my photo album, because I'm going to make a layer. And I'm going to, after it saves it, I'm going to move to the next application, which is going to be Image Blender. So I'm going to bring the original into the left bottom corner. And I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but Image Blender now allows you to use the Camera Plus um, camera if you want to be using a camera from Blender, which I don't do. But I thought that was a very interesting um, relationship they were building there. So I'm going to bring in the original, which is the black and white. And then on the other corner, I'm going to bring in the one that I just did in FX Photo Studio with the yellow glow. And now I've got this um, blended image. And if you tap on blend in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see all your different blending modes. In this particular case, I'm going to check two of them to see how this blending mode works. I'm going to check overlay. And I'm going to, after I check every overlay, if I tap on the screen, it'll apply it. And then if I move my slider a little bit over, I can see that I'm liking this glow that it's adding to the image. There's another other setting that I liked too, which is just to stay in normal. And then if you tap on that one, it gives a little bit softer of a glow. And on your, I'm not sure what your guys' screens are looking like, but mine's, mine's a little more yellow than what I'm seeing on the screen. So I'm going to leave, put that, put that yellow glow on it in just normal. So I'm in the normal blending mode, and up about, I think it's at about 75% or so, and I'm going to save that to my camera roll. So that's going to be a new layer for me. And next, I'm going to take the image into um, Filter Storm. So in Filter Storm, I guess I already have that image up. Hopefully, it will pop in here for you guys. All right, there we go. Oops, I just closed it by mistake. All right. So here's my original one that I already had brought into um, Filter Storm to move things along. And then if I go to Filters, Add Exposure, I'm going to bring in the last one I did in Image Blender. And I'm going to then fit this image, fit to image. And that way, it'll put the second one that I brought in with the ad exposure behind it. And I'll give you um, a demonstration of how that is. So when I am going, I'm going to end up brushing that color from the one behind it into this image so I can add the, just a little bit of the glow because I didn't want the glow around the border and I didn't want the glow and on anything but the center of, of this flower. So as you see, when I tap on the brush, you get to see the diameter, the softness, and the opacity. So I'm going to go a pretty big brush, but a really low opacity. But before I start, I'm going to zoom into the middle of this flower a little bit more. 
and start with the brush again. So again, the diameter of the brush is pretty big. And the reason I want it big is I don't want it, these little streaks through it. I want to be sure that it gives a softness to what I blend in. And so you'll see that I'll just paint just like you would see in a real flower of the plumeria. Bring in the yellow glow into the center. And just I'll kind of soften it by just do some softer paint brushes. And then I actually, well, you guys aren't seeing it complete yet. Let's see if it'll pop in. Um, well, I painted the whole flower. Let's see. Don't know how to speed this along at all. Maybe if I, well, I'm going to end up taking the, the eraser and I'm going to erase a little bit too and just take away some of, of the brightness that I overdid by just softening the, with the eraser. So I'll brush it on and then I erase it. And I'm sorry that it's not demonstrating that, but I'll save it and hopefully after I save it, it'll pop it back in again. I'm just painting a little bit more so it looks complete for me. Okay, so then I will hit the check mark to save, even though you guys aren't seeing anything much saved. And if I save this image and export it, let's see if I'll pop back into anything here. So first of all, I brought it into FX Photo Studio and I put the warm glow on it, or the yellow glow, and then I brought it into Blender and I blended them in normal. And then I brought it into Filter Storm and I brought the original in first, and then I brought the one that I blended in, and then I painted just the center of the flower. And I am still stuck with nothing happening here. Well, it's processing in filter storm right now, according to my iPad. And I'm going to just double check here to be sure that I'm still mirroring. Ah, I'm not. Okay. Now I just, you guys just see a black screen, is that correct? You can nod your head if you see anything. Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's see if I unscreen share and I'll try to share it again here. Uh, kick me off again. not popping up again. Well, there's obviously some glitches to my mirroring on my iPad right now. Okay, I'm going to see if I, sorry guys, I'm going to see if I can close this down and totally restart it again. It is not working. It's showing that it's mirroring just fine on my computer here. And I can't shut anything else down that I know of to get it to mirror again. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I'm going to have to try to do this again and um, and see um, how to get it to mirror back again. So what I did then after, basically that was pretty much the lesson is, is painting it all into, um, I'm getting messages from people. They probably have suggestions, but I'm not sure how to get to them right now. <laughs> so if you guys want to un un um, unmute your mics and let's talk about it and see if you guys have any, I any suggestions or something like that. And I'm going to see if I can actually find this image on my computer and then we'll be able to see the steps that I went through again. You know that chat sidebar, Terry? Uh oh, we're Nance, or Victoria, I see you're trying to talk, but I'm not hearing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, everything was frozen for a minute there. Um, Somehow I think our connection's just too darn slow right now. Not sure what's going on. Um, why don't I shut this one down and I'm going to start another chat again and I'll be sure to invite you guys first and um, then invite the public. So sorry about that everybody. I don't know what's happening here and what, why it's not working, but I'm going to start it again. Okay. Okay. <laughs>